Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another banger with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and go comment, man. So this be my week nine prediction. Um, the Minnesota Vikings and the Baltimore Ravens, they'll be going head-to-head -head next Sunday. Um, so unfortunately, the Ravens do not have a, uh, we don't have a game this week eight. We have a bye week, so uh, we're looking forward to, uh, to be bouncing back, man. You know, I got some good news for the Ravens, and, uh, and uh, let's go ahead and get on the video, man. And uh, shout out to my subscribers, my supporters. You know, check out my recent videos with the Baltimore homeless videos. I be trying, like, you know, try something different. You know, it's key. Makes, makes my channel well because this is pretty much based on, you know, where we're coming from and what's currently around me. So why not just go ahead and share that? But uh, right on the video, and um, like I said, it'll be the Baltimore Ravens and Minnesota Vikings. It's gonna be a tough. It's gonna be a good matchup. These teams are based on defense and running the ball. And uh, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy to see this matchup, man. Um, uh, we have we have to bounce back from a game we just lost against the uh, Cincinnati Bengals. It was a tough game, man. Tough game, but uh, we have to bounce back from it. We got blown out, 41 to 17. Um, I think the defense t t did a better job of just uh, containing and holding the Bengals in a better situation. Um, just like the guy you know mentioned in my uh, previous video with the. Uh, with the inclusion and uh, you know the recap, he also said the same thing. The throws went on time and everything, so it has to be better when it comes to Baltimore Ravens. You know, we have to we have to beat Minnesota. We have to beat all these teams in the NFL. And I'm so glad the Ravens can uh, you know move forward and not worry about the law who just recently took against the Cincinnati Bengals. And uh, it's gonna be a tough match, like I said, against the Minnesota Vikings. Um, they have Kirk Cousins. They got Adam Thielen. So, uh, you know, definitely got to mix it. Definitely got to uh, see what's going on. But, yeah, um, back to what I was saying. Like, uh, with the Baltimore Ravens and the Minnesota Vikings, uh, which is week nine. So, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, we, we not have a game on Sunday. This is my predictions uh, for week nine. So, let's go ahead and uh, get to the video. And let's start with the offense. And uh, like I mentioned, man, Lamar's got to come in the game. Just focus. He has to get better. He has, I mean, I get better. He just have to just, uh, you know, make sure he finds his receivers on point. You know, I definitely seen, uh, you know, some flash with Rashad Bateman last week, and uh, you know, Marquise Brown not really, you know, been, you know, Benny being there, but he's too streaky. Like I said, like he may have one good game, and the next game is like, where is he at? But um, I think the Ravens definitely have to just, uh, you know, just make sure just don't rush the ball too much. Lamar just make sure. You don't do what you do last game, you know, trying to hurry up and throw the ball. Just, you know, be patient. Find guys in a good route because, you know, you definitely have Rashad for that. And Marquise, you can definitely catch him out in the open. So, you know, there's definitely um, receivers, you know, definitely uh, got them more trust into him. And uh, just don't let – just on that last week game hold you back from, from doing it. You did it before. You've done a great job of, uh, you know, showing the uh, world that uh, your passing game has went to another level. Like I said, <laughs> in my uh, with the Baltimore Ravens the AFC Championship video, so definitely get credit to you, man. And uh, and Mark Andrews, um, definitely gonna have your partner coming back soon. Got Nick Boyle, he'll be arriving back, so that'd be two uh, you know two dynamic duos in a tight end position, and uh, that'd be good, man. That, that definitely helps us out on the offense and stretch things out. You know, that can help us in a late game situation. So you definitely need tight ends, you know, when it comes to the game of football, because that could be a key factor of us winning these games. And that's more for you know with the season we have, and um, and the running backs, man. Shout out to the running backs, like I always mention. You know, uh, I think Latavius Murray was hurt, but uh, he should be okay. Um, you know, shout out to Devontae Freeman. You know, he definitely had some chance to uh, score in the game, but that's okay. Um, we definitely can uh, pick up when we left off. You know, make up when we miss. You know, we gotta put, keep you know using that big trust when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens and that offense, man. The offense has been great this season. You know. I just think we slip and we uh we, we kind of slip out uh foot off the gas pedal. You don't want to do that if you're the Baltimore Ravens. You cannot have that type of weak offense at all. So yeah, um, other than that, man, just shout out to the offense for uh you know having much of a productive season on the running running seat running game and everything. And uh, like I said, man, you already know what I'm gonna do with this video. And I'm going to end it with the defense. Marlon Humphrey. Get better at that man and man. You need to get better at that man and man coverage. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You need to get better at that man and man, bro. Cause you let you let uh number uh one burn you up. What's the chase? I can't leave the kid name right now, but you let that guy burn you up. You get you got torched up by 87, man. 
Marlon Humphrey. You like you really look like Mark is Peters now. You are the new Mark is Peters, man. It don't make no dog on sense. You keep getting burned up like this. Like just 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 take it easy, man. Like, man, go 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 go, go train with Air Reed or something, man. Do something, man. You gotta get better than man to man. And um, yeah, I wanna uh, you know, definitely wanna call out the secondary. For, you know, for letting too many mistakes happen on that field last week, you know, these penalties and things like that, man. You know, that cannot happen in the game at all. You have to you have to contain these receivers, man. You have to have receivers under 10 yards a game. This cannot be – this cannot happen no more in the regular in the regular season because teams will take advantage of this, man. You got guys like Avery getting burnt up. Elliot got torched up. Like, you know, the second dart. I don't want to see – I don't want to see the second dart fall apart because it can definitely be the key – the key to our weakness, and a lot of teams will notice that if a uh, secondary is not, uh, you know, put together, or, you know, some guys not be on the same page at certain, same page at certain plays. So, you know, I hope they, hope they uh, can still get better because this season going by, man. We are into week nine, so we halfway through the season. So, heading to the playoffs and uh, late in the season, no excuse why we're struggling on the secondary. We're like almost dead last when it comes to the secondary in the NFL. But I uh, hope they get better, man. I mean, it just me, you know, voice my opinion on what I saw in that game last week. That cannot happen at all. And uh, you know, I definitely want to give a shout out to the uh, the front seven. You know, with Calais Campbell, you know, the, you know, the rest of the um, linebackers that's doing their thing. And uh, you know, I definitely want to uh, mention with Patrick Queen out there, man. I mean, you just gotta take it easy or slow down. But um, I don't know what you're doing out there, man. Just kind of take it easy. You missing tackles. You're not catching up with your guys. Like you moving too fast. You there, but you're not there at the right time. So, you know that that just that just cannot be allowed. That cannot allow it to happen because running backs take advantage of that, and they see that when you miss a step, they are gonna take that step forward. You step back, they move forward, and that's what I've been saying with you, Mr. Patrick Queen. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but well, other than that, yeah, as the Ravens are uh, front four to seven, they doing a good job. You know, trying their best to get to the quarterback. I know last week's game, it wasn't really as dominant as the game before against the Chargers. Uh, I didn't see Joe Burrow get hit that much. I think he got, like, sacked twice, and that was it. But other than that, um, got good credit when it's due. The, uh, the Cincinnati Bengals offensive line was pretty good. Um, they, they found a way to not let the uh, the defense alignment get to the quarterback. And um, when I see things like that, you have to uh, toss your head out. So there's not a lot of teams that have a good offensive line, man. You know, a lot of teams are struggling with having a good offensive line. There's going to be a lot of good teams right now, but sometimes that offensive line can hold you back, and that's what we're struggling right now, to be honest with you. So, um, that's it, man, as far as the defense. And also, uh, we have a huge return. We got the man himself, Mr. Derek Wolf. Mr. Derek Wolf will be coming back really, really soon. He ain't, he ain't going nowhere. He's here. He's around. And uh, I'm glad. I'm glad he. Came. I'm glad he returned to practice this week. So this helps our team. You know, it helps the defense. You know, it kind of. You know. You know, we can pick up from where we left off. And uh, I know we had a early. I know we had a bad early season start and into the uh, regular season, but it's okay. As we got guys coming back off of injuries, and um, this is the right time. You know, just for these guys to return. Not too early, not too late, but just on time, just for us to move forward and progress. But. Um, yeah, that's it, man. Like I said, welcome back, Mr. Derek Wolf. Um, welcome back, Mr. Derek, Nick Boyle. So we got two guys that's coming back on the defense and the offense. So we're definitely in a good situation, man. So uh, any questions, anything you would like to leave in the comment section, feel free to do so. So this is my prediction for week nine. So like I said before, we will not have a game on week eight. So don't look forward to, don't look forward to seeing the Ravens game on Sunday because you're not going to see it. But uh, <laughs> I'm out with it, bro. You folks have a blessed one. Peace. I'm out.